So let me ask you a question, and I just know this from the paperwork that I went back and read it last night. Is it true your husband owns a Benz? Yes, it is true. <laughs> Ain't paying taxes, but own a Benz. It's crazy. Insane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was disappointing, too. He needs to sell that and get a Toyota. <sighs> I agree. I, I, I couldn't believe that when he did that. Was that a joint decision that you all had? No. The, the discussion was, babe, I think we're going to get rid of the truck we have and replace it with something a little newer. So I was like, OK. Like, I mean, that made sense to me. How do you go from a truck to a Benz? He just did it and then never got rid of the truck. So I'm like, why? why? I, don't, I don't get this. He at first said that he was getting it because he wanted me to drive something nice. And then it became his. And I told him that he has this hood rich mentality. And I don't, I don't like that. It's not what I want to be. You know, I have to get my things in order. And then all of those things can come. You know, it's, it'd be, you know, nice to ride into Benz, yes. But I don't want to ride into Benz when I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a freaking house. But I, I just, I just gave in. You know, I gave in because that's what I do. I gave in to his pressure. That's of what buying. you used to do. That's what I used to do. Yes. <laughs> And I gave in to the pressure, but I didn't want to be stretched that thin to pay a car note. Well, it's also adolescent behavior yeah. when you're sleeping on your mother's sofa and wearing $300 sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's adolescent behavior.